Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the another concept in regular expression that is nothing but character set. So, what is this character set? How we can use or where we can use this character set in the regular expression? Let's try to see this one. So, here, if you try to see here, I will try to tell you I am having a text in a such a way that let's say that I am having a text of gray. Okay, so this is the text I am having. We can pronounce this gray. We can write this gray spelling using G-R-E-A-Y or otherwise you can also write it as G-R-E-Y. So no matter what it can be, it is a gray. So now in a, in a sentence, I want to write a regular expression in a such a way that so whether any word matches, whether it may be a gray or it may be a G-R-E-Y. So I need to match the gray word. So how can I write the regular expression for this one? <clears throat> so one thing is I can use something like G, R and Y. So here this is the place where the problem comes. So here it needs to take A or E. Something like it should be something like A or E. It should be something like this. So whether it can be a A or an E. So that means I am trying to tell a character set. So normally if you try to take it as a dot which is a wildcard meta character. So we have already discussed about this one. So if we try to see, so these both will match and, and, and along with these things, it, it will also match something like this one. So whatever the thing you will be having. So this one, so whatever may be the character present in between the GR and Y, all the characters, it will be matching. So this is, this is not the behavior that should happen. So it should match only with a A or E. So this is the thing I want to have. So now we can write a regular expression in a such a way that so now here you need to have G R Y and it needs to match a character set. So this is called as a character set. So these are the two characters. So set of characters. So either A or E. So the letter can be the, the letter can be either A or E. So for this type of representation, we used to write square bracket and inside you need to mention a character set. So like this we need to we will be implementing the set of characters in a regular expression. Now here this will match gr gr it will match the literals literal thing it will match it literally it will match the gr and y it will match literally here. So in between this gr and y it will take it will match either it may be presenting a or e. So now this one this both will match now. So let's try to see the real time behavior of this one. If I try to open here, so we know about the regex pal. So let's try to open this regex pal. So now I have opened this regex pal. So I am writing a text, text something like make the say any text. Okay, for the so I am taking some text. So I am writing here gray. Okay, and fill it with circle gray i am using another letter gray okay so this is the text i am taking here so this is the text i am taking here now i want to match the either this one g r a y or otherwise g r e y i need to match it so as we already learned what is the thing i can mention it here g r y and here i can mention a e that's it so now if you try to see here g r a y has matched and also g r e y has matched now if i try to have anything something like G R L Y, so this one will not match. Now it will try to see for the character set that has A or E in between the G R and Y. So here you are having G R A, it is matching. Okay, so one of the character is there, and G R E Y, so E is there in this one, the set of characters you are having. So these two matches will fail. But here G R L Y will not match. Why? Because we are not having that one. So this is how we will be using. You will be using this one. We will be using the matching the set of characters. This is the called as in character set. For example, let's say that I can remove this entire thing. So here it is matching the both the things. Why? Because it is having a flag of global flag. If it doesn't have a global flag, it will match only the single one. G R E A Y. Okay. So now if you try to take the global match, so it will match all the things. Now let's say that <clears throat> I will write a code in a such a way that so here so let's remove this one all. 
So I am opening here character set. I am writing A, B, C, D. Now if you try to see here, so A is matching, M is not matching. Why? Because it is not a set of characters A, B, C, D here. A is matching and also here A is matching A, A and everywhere D is matching here. C is matching and also C is matching. So like this. So any character so which is having A, B, C and D, it will match it. And also you can also mention if you want another set of characters also you can mention. Something like space and I. If you try to take space and I and here A, B, C, D afterwards space is there. So which is having a set of character here space and I and C, A also matches here. One of the character is matching and inside this one another character is matching. So like this also you can mention the set of character sets. So if you want you can also mention another one here. R, H, anything. Okay. So you can mention anything. Something like you can also use the space here. Or otherwise you can use something like. Uh, what I can say D and space it has matched right. So you can use or n n it can match so here it is matching n d and space so n d n it is there d it is there here space it is there so like this you can also do it not only like this we can also mention the number uh, numbers also one two three four you can also mention like this now if you try to write here somewhere one two three four so now here if you try to see here each one is matching separately so here you'll be able to see the white spaces so that means each letter is each word is matching each letter is matching separately so it is checking for the either one two or three or four okay so like this so if you want to match another one so you can use something like so one two three and four so now here you'll be able to see two characters and two characters it is matching here so like this you can mention the character sets and also you can say that so now we have mentioned about the a b c d okay what about the dot operator so now here period so this is the wildcard meta character if i mention this dot inside a square bracket so what will happen so will it match or not for example let's say that you are having a e y okay here if you try to see here so the dot is matching why it is there and dot is matching here so that means if you mention a wildcard of wildcard meta characters if you mention a wildcard meta character inside the square bracket so it will take the literal value so the meta character property so wildcard character means it will match any character so that property will not have that one so it will make it will check for the dot operator only so if you mention that wildcard operator meta character inside a square bracket it will check for only dot not for any letter so you need to understand that one so if you want to match any letter means you need you should not use it so you should you should use it at the outside so now you will be able to match dot means so any character so if you mention the dot in a paragraph in, in a square bracket like this means it will check literally for the dot operator not dot character not for not as a meta character so this is the thing you need to understand so this is all about the representing the character set in the regular expression hope you understood about this character set so we have we will be if you want to mention the character set means you need to mention it in the square bracket and also you can mention the list of characters that should match so this is all about this character set if you have any doubts or any suggestions Please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.